Your Majesty, please send my regards to the Prince. And do well to explain to him why I had to leave. Since he's not around for me to do the explanation myself. Ella, please, don't go. The, the wedding is just around the corner. You can do this for me, can't you? I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry, but I can't do this. I can't. I'm sorry. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Ella. 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 Am I dreaming? My friend here, her name is Adora. She's the one I told you that would stand in gap for me on my wedding day. My dear, do you sincerely accept to this request? It all pleasure, my prince. Honey, can I talk to you privately? Did you tell her what's involved with this whole representation thing? Did you tell her she's going to die? Because from the look on her face, I doubt it. Well, I, I didn't because I, I didn't really think it was necessary explaining all that to her. Are you serious? How can you think sending someone to her early grave is not necessary? You need to let her understand she has to know. And if she's going to go ahead to do this, it has to be willingly from her heart. See that? Why are you? I do not hey, see. Hey, hey, listen, don't say a word. I am going in there to tell her. No, no, you do Stop that. Stop it. Please, come back, please. Um, Adora. That's the name, right? Okay. There is something I need to tell you about this whole wedding representation thing. So, according to the new tradition, whoever I get married to is used as a sacrificial lamb to Ajaka the Oracle for the coronation ritual. So, I want you to go home and think about it. Listen, listen, sweetheart, listen to me. Is I'm sorry I didn't explain all these parts for you well, right? But it is not that deep. Not like the way he's making it look. Yeah? Oh, I'll need to still explain certain things to you. Alright, but I'm sorry I didn't explain. It's nice.
It's for the sake of our life, for the sake of our praise, oh, I'm in your hands, oh God. Although it is so difficult to do, but it's a way I have to go. Ada. You have been like this since you came back from the palace. Eh? What is it? Is this something you want to share with me? Mama, there's nothing wrong with me. I am fine. Mm. Yes, Mama. Are you sure? Yes. Please, if there's anything bothering you, don't hesitate to tell me. Hmm? You know very well that you are the only one, only one I have since we lost your father. Please, eh? I don't want anything to happen to you, please. Hey, nothing will happen to me, Mama. I am fine. Oh, mm. nothing will happen to me. <laughs> Let's go and rest. Okay. I'm just thinking. If you say so, then smile. <laughs> Mama, I'm fine. Mm. Thank you, Mama. Just go and rest, I'm, I'm fine. I'm coming to join you. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although it is so My dear, so what is your decision? <sighs> My prince, I've thought about it thoroughly. And the truth is that I've admired you so much. Even my friend here knows. I've always wanted to have a man like you in my life because of your fine qualities in a man. And you've proven to me that you're a great man. You're not just a great man, but best I've ever seen. Con considering your honesty, your your transparency, your sympathy towards me in this situation. And I said to myself, you deserve every sacrifice, even if it's worth giving my life. Yes, I am willingly offering myself to you if that will bring peace and fulfillment to you and our kingdom, my prince. Are you very certain about what you've just said? Yes, 
Yes, my prince. Okay. I called for this meeting to inform you all of the sudden change that came up as a result of an unavoidable situation. Which is why I have decided to make Adora here my bride. She will wear the wedding veil and walk with me down the aisle, not Yvonne. Why? What happened to Yvonne that you've chosen already? Why changing your mind at this 11th hour? Because Yvonne has an urgent exam to write in the UK. So she can't be present for the wedding. I have decided to make Adora here, my bride. What a flimsy excuse. It's not enough reason to abandon her marriage. Well, um, <clears throat> my prince, are you really sure of this uh, sudden change of decision? Positive. That will not happen. You have to marry Yvonne. After all, you chose her yourself and you said you love her. So you need to love her and love her to the brim. Uh, you see, I understand your point, your majesty. But the prince has the right to his decision. Anytime, any day. Yes. And we, the elders, must go with the prince's decision. Or any other thing. I agree with you, Chair. I agree with You're you. Right. Well, in this case, let us go with the prince's decision. What? Our newly chosen bride, you are welcome. Thank you. You're no. very welcome. Thank you. Um, A guard is going to accompany you to your home so that you pick some necessary things. Then you come back to the palace so that the preparation for your royal wedding will commence. <laughs> Fair enough. I want to thank you all, my fathers, for your understanding. <laughs> you are welcome, my friends. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Oh, welcome, Mia. <laughs> Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, my daughter. I'm going to tell you. Go your way now. I'm going to tell you. My friend, you've indeed proven to me you are a true friend. I want you to know that I owe you my life, my entire life. You've shown me undiluted love, an unquestionable loyalty, one that can only be found in the Bible. And I'm here to tell you, I owe you my life, everything I have. Thank you. Whatever I do, I do it for love and humanity. Please, the only thing I want to ask you is for you to take care of my poor mother when I'm no more. Please. She is now my mother. I promise you, on my life, she will be properly taken care of. Okay? Listen to me. It's a covenant. I owe you that. Alright? Thank you very much. I should be thanking you. And happy wedding in advance. Uh oh. You're gonna make me cry. Oh my god, thank you. I will, I will be inside. <laughs>
Farewell, my good friend. I know your type have one way ticket to heaven. Because that's where your beautiful soul belongs. We'll soon meet to part no more. But until then, rest in perfect peace. Have you not heard about the new tradition eh? the, 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 that says uh, that the bride, the bride will die uh, 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 on the night of the wedding day? Have you not? Please, Adam, don't leave me. Don't make me childless, Adam. Please. <laughs> <laughs> in this world will want to see her only child die to anyone or for any barbaric tradition. I just want you to know that the decision your daughter took was solely her decision. Nobody convinced her. Nobody encouraged her to do it. She's a rare gem. One in a million. It's hard to find people like your daughter. Yes, please. <laughs> I am so sorry, but here, this is 10 million naira. This is not to pay you, but to share in your grief. This is coming from me, and there's more to come from the royal household. Please, I am so sorry.
What everybody? In this village, who is it? Honestly, I am not comfortable with this whole thing. I mean, seeing those tears from that poor widow's eyes. All because of this whole marriage thing. This cursed custom. I, I don't know. I, I, I seriously don't know about this anymore. I don't. Same with me too. I'm not comfortable with the whole idea, but we're already here, so we'll have to go ahead. And thankful to God, she willingly gave up herself. Right? Not like we forced her or stuff like that. I don't know. So why don't you see this as a way God wants to solidify our relationship? I mean, like a miracle. Or would you rather prefer I die? No. Why would you say that? But babe, is but it... There's no but with that. Listen to me. There's no but here. All right? You don't have to work yourself up. I understand totally. Believe me. She's my friend, right? It's my friend we're talking about here. I understand and I know her pain more than you do. You begin to take it too personal, like you're starting to develop some kind of feelings for her. Yes, because I don't know. I don't know why you're working yourself up over this. You should let this slide. What we should be thinking about is how to hold on tight and get through this, this period. Not what you're saying right now. Really beautiful, my lady. Thank you, Nana. My lady, I know I'm not supposed to say this, but I want to thank you for this rare sacrifice. I know we'd be friends even before I started working with the royal household. And to be very honest, your kind cannot be found or forgotten in this kingdom. Thank you, Nana. I just want you to know that whatever I do, I do it for love and humanity. Thank you. Thank you. How, how am I looking? You look very beautiful. Are you serious? <sighs> Thank you. Look at this one. Thank you. Ma, calm down. Calm down, Ma. You, your daughter is actually here for a purpose. For the, for the betterment of the community, please try and understand. Calm down, what? I'm not going to calm down. Give me my daughter, can't bring my daughter for me. Ma, calm down. Your, your daughter is here for the betterment of the community, and she's going to be greatly rewarded by the gods. No, 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 no. Please calm down. Let's, 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 stop, stop, stop. Just no, no, calm down. Stand up. I'm going to stay here. Madam, calm down. Angels, please stand up. Madam, madam, please. Calm down. Everything will be fine. Come bring my daughter. Come bring my daughter. Come down. Calm down, ma'am. Please, please. Bring my daughter. Bring my daughter. I'll show you. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, no, no, no. I don't have to come down. Madam, just listen. Everything is going to be fine. I'm not going to come down. I want my daughter. Madam. That sounds like my mother's voice. Obviously, you do not expect less. Do you want to change your mind now? It's not too late.
I wish I could. That my faith. It is my sacrifice. But her daughter accepted the sacrifice willingly. Not willingly. She was deceived by that evil lady, Evan. Watch your mouth when you talk about the next queen to be. Else, she will cut your tongue and feed them to the vultures. Will you shut your dirty ones then? You are very heartless. In fact, you are as heartless as are your wicked future queen, Evan. How dare you? How dare you talk about the queen? Oh, is it because she traveled out? No problem. Even if she did not ask her to advance the misfortune that she imposed on that innocent girl, Dora, what would she have done to me? And what? Nonsense girl. No. Mm. Is this what you said? No problem. Wait till she comes back and help us. If you like, go and meet the town crier to help you announce it. She will not do me anything. Nonsense girl with that sense. <laughs> did you just insult me? Yes, I just did. You insult me? Yes. Me? Mm -hmm. No problem. You will get it to us from me soon. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. It's new shit. Bride will be honored as the chosen one by the gods. She will sacrifice her life for the prestigious coronation of our next king, her husband. My daughter Adora, you are indeed blessed and privileged to be the chosen one. Be rest assured. 
that you have a special place in the land of our ancestors. Now you will be prepared by a royal maiden in a special robe for the ritual. After which you will be laid on the king's bed and wait for your glorious departure. Ajaka the oracle will be coming to feast on your blood tonight. Others of our land. Let's proceed. Although it is so difficult to do, but it's a way I have to go through. It's for the sake of our land, for the sake of a praise. Oh, I'm in your hands, oh God. Although it is so difficult to do, but it's a way I have to go. He's strong. The previous woman of Abuko. Be strong, my Amazon. The gods are with you. And this sacrifice will not go in vain. Mama, I'm sorry. Nemo, I'm sorry. It's for the sake of sake of our praise is the price that I must pay. Son, I do understand the heavy guilt and empathy in your heart for the sacrifice she is making. I want you to know that it is not your fault. The gods have designed this fate even before you were born. The gods indeed. How heartless they can be. Mother, you can go inside. I want to be left alone. All the cabinet members and the chief priest Ikuku are here. They need our presence. Blessed woman. I really pity her though. Same here. Sometimes I wonder if the gods are really just and fair. We don't have the power to judge. Only the gods can judge. Yes, you are right. The gods has the final say. Indeed, he has the final say. So difficult to do, but it's a way I have to go through. It's for the sake of our life, for the sake of a praise. Oh, I'm in your hands, oh God. Although it is so. 
she awaits the ritual. We can all retire and come back tomorrow morning when she must have been dead in line with the sacrifice. Remember, no one goes into that room except me. And that is when I will go to purify her corpse for burial. You have to be strong. This is a part of what makes a king. Ananyo. Ananyo. Agrega. Ia. Ananyo. Ananyo. Agrega. Ia. Ananyo. Ananyo. Agrega. Ia. Do we have to wait for the chief priest? Patient, my prince. The gods are never late. My prince, I told you. Money to me. One apple. It's time to purify the corpse for the burial. She dead. Is my daughter there? Tell me, tell me. Is she dead? I understand how you feel. Please, calm down. Is she dead? Is she dead? Is she dead? Just tell me. Just tell me. Ma, please, tell calm me. Down. Me. Ma, please, calm down. Is my daughter dead? Just tell me. She please just get me. Calm down, ma. Calm down, ma. Is it that? Is it that? Is it? 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 Is I mean, she's dead is that she's dead. And there's nothing we can do about it. Okay? Stop. Stop crying, man. She already died for the sake of our king. Is she really dead? Is she really dead? Of course. She's obviously dead. But you could go into the kids' bedroom alone. What a strange word. May I, may I so rest in peace? Um, you know what? We are nothing but mere mortals. And we're always going to be gone just like her someday. You know what? Just have to stop crying, okay? Hmm? Stop crying. I pity her for more than most. Just that's all we can do.
I thought she was dead. The ways of the gods are not that of mortals. You see, my brains, this whole drama, the gods, to Amare rituals, and the death of the chosen bride, we are all a script written by the gods and interpreted by mortals like you. Just to find a true and worthy queen of our kingdom. One who truly loves you. Our prince and our next king. As true love has always been the pillar of this royal family. From the time of our first king, Ebenezer the Great, to the reign of your father, whom you are about to succeed. Shall pass the test against all other contestants that pretended to love you, but deserted you when the needs was imperative to prove their love to this ultimate prize. My daughter. Congratulations, my daughter. You have surely passed the test of love. Congratulations. Thank you. Good, Hikuku. Thank you, my elders. Mm, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Hey. Thank you, my prince. This revelation is his more than a shock to me. In a way, yes. mm -hmm. just as I believe it is to you all here. Thank the gods for preserving my life. When I thought I was dead and mourned by many who loves me, like my poor mother. But I am alive today. And it's all over. I I bet to take my leave. Let me go and see my mourning mother. I know she will be heartbroken in grief by now. Let me go and wake her up from her slumber. I am all she has. But I decided to die for my... for my prince. And... for my kingdom. Since there was no one to battle the boat of our future, especially that of humble prince who is loved by all but himself who will obviously make a great king yes thank the gods it's all over I believe by now the prince must have known his place amongst his lovers and I never regretted my sacrifice Whatever I did, I did it out of love and humanity. Thank the gods for saving my life. Thank you, Ikoko. Thank you, my elders. Thank you, my prince. I better leave. Just standing there looking directly into the sky like innocent pregnant virgins about to be sacrificed to the deity. Morons! Help me! I just got back. I'm talking to you. Adieu. Adieu. Did you just say what? Adieu. You shall be fired. You shall be fired. I promise you, I will fire you all! Wait My queen. till we know who gets fired first. It's arrogance. My queen, 
my, my mother-in-law. What is going on? This, 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 this idiot disrespected me. They just disrespected me right now. Well, I instructed them not to accord you your usual courtesy or privileges. Why? The last time I checked, I am the next queen of Abugo Kingdom. And it's my right. 